Welcome back to our video series on ventilation and infection control. Airborne Infection Isolation Rooms, or AIIRs for short, are special rooms that are designed for patients known or suspected to have an infectious disease that might spread long distances through the air. For the most part, these rooms are designed to the same requirements as typical patient rooms, but there are a few specific requirements that make these rooms unique to protect hospital staff and others from airborne infectious diseases. Unlike a standard patient room, AIIRs are required to have negative pressure, meaning the room acts as a vacuum, always sucking the air from the corridor into the patient room. This is to ensure that the airborne infectious disease is not spread throughout the rest of the facility. This vacuum is also required to have a minimum amount of suction to ensure that the right amount of air is being pulled into the room. This vacuum is measured in inches of water, which relates to atmospheric pressure. AIIRs are required to have a negative 0.01 inches of water column pressure. To visualize this, the pressure of the air being pulled out of the room is equal to you trying to drink water through a straw that is 407 inches tall. But wait, all of this air being pulled out of the room has to go somewhere. So where does it go? There are two options. Either a dedicated exhaust system pulls air straight outside, or the air is sent through a HEPA filter that removes 99.97% of airborne contaminants before it is mixed back in with the rest of the building air. AIIRs are required to have a visual indicator so staff know the room is negative pressure. This can be a simple device, such as a ball on the wall, which shows the direction of airflow by moving a ball through a tube either into the patient room for negative pressure or into the corridor for positive pressure. There may also be a room pressure monitor. These devices have audible alarms to let you know if the room is not meeting the minimum negative 0.01 inches of water column. These alarms help keep you and others safe, so call your facilities team if they are sounding. One more important note about AIIRs. The old air in the room must be replaced with new air 12 times every hour. Compare this to your home, which has a minimal recommendation to change only one third of the total air every hour. <laughs> wow, a lot of thought and planning goes into protecting everyone from airborne germs. You can help make sure AIIRs stay negative pressure by keeping the patient room door and windows closed and by reporting any broken ceiling tiles to your facility's maintenance team. It takes the entire hospital staff working together to promote a safe and healthy healing environment for patients.